In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to pivot or unpivot your data columns in Power BI. We're going to go through it step by step together if you want to follow along. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where I focus on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this demo that I prepared for you today. It's a very simple data set that we prepared for product sales. Um, we had some information before but we grouped these into product names and years. We used it in our previous videos before how we do group buys. If you want to know how we did that, check out those other videos. So let's see here we have three different columns. We have the purchase year, the product name and the sales. So they are flattened um, each orders or each products um, per row. So let's say now you have a requirement to show the purchase years as different columns uh, as opposed to the rows themselves. So converting data from rows to columns is what we call pivoting. So how you do that actually is very simple in Power Query. So first what you'll need to do from here is you'll need to select the purchase year and under transform you will have the option to pivot your column so it, it means that it's um, converting those rows into columns so if you click that it will ask you what the value column should be so what is the value that you want to put in these um, in these column rows so in this case we want to put sales and you just want to make sure that this is summed because we, what we want to do is we want to sum um, multiple sales on each year uh, when there is multiple uh, products for that row. If you hit OK, so now you see that you now have the years on the columns as opposed to rows. And you also see that the sales for each of those years are in your values for those columns. So you see how easy that is to pivot your data in Power Query. So now if you're given the opposite requirement where you are given a task to um, change these columns into a rows instead, um, the action is called unpivoting columns. Um, and again, like the pivot columns, it's actually pretty easy to do it. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to select the columns that you want to unpivot. Um, and we'll hold control click to select multiple columns here. And all you need to do is select the unpivot columns and you'll see that now it puts those columns into a row value instead so you have the years on your attributes and the values on a separate column and that's really it for this video i hope it helped you understand how easy it is to start pivoting and unpivoting your data in power bi leave a like on this video if it helped you it's the best way to let me know that you enjoyed this type of content get in touch using the social media links that i included in the description box below and thank you so much for watching guys see you again on the next one